What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In, in, in. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. Reminder, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet and you like the content, make sure you do that now. right now. ASAP, right now. immediately. Sweet T's gonna come to your house, kick you between the legs. If you don't, Sweet T, what are we talking about? That's pretty brutal, dude. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. <laughs> if I end up coming to your house, we'll probably share some laughs. Yeah. Maybe have a couple Throw coffee. Throw some back. No, you're talking about coffee. I'm yeah. talking about like <laughs> alcohol. Where are you going, bro? I don't know. Just some coffee. A good time. That's right. But anyways, we're talking about the curious case of Hiri Prohaska Part Two. We did a video on this guy when he first came on the scene with his wild and chaotic style. When <laughs> yeah. he took out Vulcan Ozdemir, he was doing the power, the power ups, <sighs> and the stances. Was he doing that this time? No, he wasn't. He was a lot more calm, and he was a lot more uh, in terms of uh, in terms of the extra stuff. Now he was still as wild as ever in, in the fight and yeah. the punches and, and kicks he was throwing. But he was less, less traumatic when it came yeah. to when nothing was thrown. He wasn't powering anything up. No, he did grab the hand a couple of times. You could see he wanted <laughs> to get the power the up power on the hand, up. but he he was able to contain himself and ultimately get the W. But he he's definitely a true martial artist man. Yeah. He tries to embody the martial arts mindset in his fighting style, which is cool. But and uh, he got another knockout over a super. Tough dude. Talented is, guy. Dominic Reyes is probably one of the best strikers, I think, in the division, at the, uh, in that division, mm -hmm. for the longest time. Yeah, he fought for the title. He didn't get it. Super close. Um, but then after that, he's had some losses. Got knocked out by Blahovich. Yeah, got knocked out by, by Blahovich. Now he got knocked out by oh, Prohaska. Man. So, I don't know. It's that John Jones curse. He takes their soul. He takes part of their, yeah. their ambiance, you know? Let's talk, let's talk about why, okay. why it happened. It was, it was super, yeah, it was just, let's just go do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Reyes had his back up against the fence. Prohaska comes up with a good elbow, but whiffs it. I think he blocks it. It, it goes through. Yeah, this Reyes is the tricky wrong. part. Because Reyes is thinking, okay, this guy just threw an elbow. Boom, he misses. And now he's just going to walk off, you know, maybe back to the center of the cage. That's what Reyes was thinking. So Reyes decides to try and follow him, right, with his own strikes. And this is where the craziness happened. So he had him against the fence, threw the elbow, boom, whiffs it. As Prohaska steps away, Reyes becomes, comes to attack, and that's when he gets hit with that crazy spinning. It wasn't even a clean, it was a weird, it was like just a spin move. He just goes like this, he goes like, spin moved out of there. And it hits him with it, like what the heck? But I think that's where it got confusing, right? It got weird was when, you know, you see somebody take that step, they're, they're, you know, they're walking away. They're trying to get back to the center of the cage because, you know, he was just hurt, right? So maybe he wants to recover some more, get out there. Reyes was like, nope, not letting you go. I'm coming after you. And then he hits him with the spin move. So it goes something like this. Hits the spin move or hits, the, hits, him, hits him with the elbow, whips it, boom. Steps away, he follows. Bah! Spin elbow. Didn't, he didn't expect it. And those are the techniques that hurt you the most, the ones that you don't expect. It's like, all right, I got you now. Boom. Then, he, then you, you're lights out. You know, you're on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, having somebody, some sweaty dude over top of you. So I think the, the big thing that really confused Reyes, like you said, was just that slight delay. Yeah. That delay in timing. Yeah. It wasn't like one, two strikes. It wasn't like a typical timing of a combination, one, two, three. It was the miss. When somebody turns their back to you to run away, they're usually hurt. They're usually yeah. trying to get away from more strikes. But not Prohaska. No. Nope. Not Wild Man. Prohaska. Prohaska. So. They're saying the winner of that fight fights with the belt next. Oh. So you got the winner of Teixeira and Blaho Blahovic taking on the winner of um, this fight. So it's going to yeah. be Prohaska. Well, any one of those guys, Blahovic or Glover, they hit you. I mean, they got the power to put you out. I mean, I know Reyes does too, but man, those guys. Get that. Got they don't have the Polish power. They don't have that Polish power. So does Prohaska have a chance against those guys? I think he does. I mean, who, who do you think he has a better chance against? I think he has a better chance against Glover for sure. Yeah. If it's a stand-up game, I mean, Glover's very strong and he's got great jujitsu. In order for Glover to win, he's going to have to get this guy up against the fence and get him down on the floor. You know, not up against the fence, but actually out in the middle of the floor. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, that's where he can, you know, 
bring him into deep deep water for sure. Use that jujitsu and submit yeah, him. Yeah, use that jujitsu and submit him. But in, in my opinion, if I love Prohaska, I love what he's about. He's just care. You see, he's out there. He's having fun. He's just yeah. doing what just comes naturally to him, which is awesome. But in my opinion, if he gets hit the same way he got hit by Vulcan, the same way he got by hit Glover by Glover or by, or by, by Dominic, yeah. Um, if he, if he gets that way, well, yeah, by Blahovich, he's taking him out. Yeah, Blahovich. Hey, yeah, win him. We're the same age, me and uh, me and Blahovich. Yeah, Prohaska's only twenty-eight. You know what? They're considered. They, I'm considered an old guy now. I have to get like an EKG now <laughs> when, when dude, I fight. Dude, I didn't have to do that old, before. Bro. Stop it. What an old man. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all coming to join us for this Teddy Tuesday. If you haven't seen the highlights, guys, go check that out. Subscribe right now. Like, subscribe. We got some really cool stuff on the channel. Got some really cool stuff coming at you this week. And check it out. Oh, yeah, we also have a podcast that some of you guys don't even know about. So go check that Every out, Every Monday morning. Every Monday morning. Drop. We talk yes. about all kind of stuff. All right, guys. Catch y'all later. Peace.